Hello, my name is Carolyn Pearson and I'm a hydrologic engineer with the Risk Management Center. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the various sensitivity plots produced in RMC RFA. Let's get started. The objective of this lecture is to discuss the sensitivity plots that are included in RMC RFA, as well as the two correlation coefficients calculated in the model. The sensitivity plots can be found for each simulation in the sensitivity plots tab shown here. There are four sensitivity plots that are included in RMC RFA. You can view the sensitivity plots for each realization. If the expected frequency curve only simulation type was run, there will only be one realization. RMC RFA reports two types of correlation coefficients for the sensitivity plots. The Pearson correlation is a measure of the linear correlation between two sets of data. The sign signifies if there is a positive or negative correlation between the two variables. The values can range from negative one to positive one, with values closer to negative one or positive one indicating more correlation. A value closer to zero means there is little to no correlation. A Spearman correlation is a non-parametric measure of rank correlation, which is the statistical dependence between the rankings of two variables. It assesses how well the relationship between two variables can be described by a monotonic function. Both of these correlation coefficients can be used to evaluate relationships between the variables in an RFA simulation. The first sensitivity plot available in the drop-down menu shows the correlation between inflow volume and peak stage. The plot on the left is an example for a dam with a relatively high correlation, which suggests that the inflow volume is a primary driver of peak stage. Higher inflow volumes produce higher peak stages. In the plot on the right, results for a different dam are shown, where the correlation is relatively low, which suggests that the inflow volume is not the primary driver of peak stages. In other words, larger inflow volumes do not necessarily produce higher peak stages for this dam. The second sensitivity plot shows the correlation between starting stage and peak stage. In the example on the left, the correlation is relatively high, which means starting stage influences the peak stage. Higher starting stages generally result in higher peak stages for this dam. The plot on the right is for a different dam, where the correlation is relatively low, which means that the starting stage does not have a large impact on the peak stage. The third sensitivity plot shows the effect of flood seasonality by showing the variation in peak stages for each month in the form of a box and whisker plot. The box and whisker plots provide a seven number summary where the two points represent the min and max, the whiskers represent the fifth and the 95th percentiles, the box represents the 25th and the 75th percentiles, and the dashed line represents the median. These can be used to evaluate months that produce the largest and smallest variations in peak stages. The final sensitivity plot shows the effect of hydrograph shape by showing the variation in peak stage for each hydrograph shape in the format of a box and whisker plot. This plot shows a seven number summary for the variation in peak stage and for each hydrograph shape. This plot can be used to evaluate the sensitivity of the peak stage for the different hydrograph shapes. Here is an example of a set of sensitivity plots for a dam. In the first plot at the top left, we see that the sampled inflow volume is positively correlated with the peak stage, which tells us that the sampled inflow volume is a driver for the peak stage, which is common. Next, we see the correlation plot for the starting stage at the top right, where we can see that the peak stage is not strongly correlated with the starting stage. Next, we see the box and whisker plot at the bottom left for flood seasonality. For this dam, floods in May generally had higher peak stages, which is expected because the starting stages tended to be higher during this month. We also see that there was a wide range of peak stages observed during each of the months. The final plot at the bottom right shows the inflow hydrograph shape box and whisker plot. We can see the boxes are similar for each inflow hydrograph shape, which suggests that the peak stage is not very sensitive to this set of hydrograph shapes. 
You should now understand the simulation sensitivity plots in RMC RFA. What questions do you have? 